Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another van update video. So I think today's should be a pretty quick one. There's not a whole lot to uh, go over, but it is something that is very nice to have in the van, very handy, and it's got like multiple uses. So let's go ahead and get right into showing you what I've added. So first thing we're gonna be checking out here is this. And this is a fold out table. I'll show you how it's attached in here. Uh, I had to put a spacer there and uh, attach it into here and up here so that way it's kind of sitting at the right height um, I probably could lower it down a little bit but uh, I kind of wanted it to be attached into here and here not just like here because you know it where it's at right now it's pretty solid and uh, I think it works out pretty well we'll see in the long run but this thing is super nice because all you got to do fold it out it locks in down under here and then if you want to undo it you have to hit both of these at the same time but there's little levers it's got these adjusters so when you have it in a good spot you can just tighten this down so that way it's not gonna move around on you but then you just loosen that up and you got this nice swinging table so this thing can move around quite a bit there's a lot of uses for this here so like say I want to use it for like a little table here for uh, you know maybe prepping some food or cooking I've got the sink right here, which eventually I'm going to put a uh, wooden cover on top of this too. So I'll have this as workspace, but for now, I mean, and even when that's a workspace, I still will have this as a workspace. So like, say, you know, you want to, you want to make your eggs, you, you throw your eggs right on there, but you forgot. You also needed some cottage, cottage cheese for, for some reason, whatever reason that would be. Oh, and of course, I mean, you got to have cheese for your eggs. <laughs> yes you got two different cheeses now you got cottage cheese and sharp cheddar so just throw that all together eggs cottage cheese and sharp cheddar that's pretty much the breakfast of champions right there but anyways yeah like that so i mean like it's a real handy table if you're working on some stuff in here so i'm thinking like if i had a cover on this sink i could have my grill there have the door open so that way the stuff will blow out but i could have this for like my eggs and my meats and stuff and be cooking have this as a prepping station so that's like one of the number one uses for this table. Very nice, very handy. But then, you know, you've got your breakfast ready. You got a nice little table here at the, t at the seat here where you can sit down and you can uh, eat your meal. See, like I said, it's a little bit high. I mean, I guess it's not, it's not really too bad. If I'm working on the laptop, it's actually like at a decent height for me, I feel like. I maybe could go a little lower, but the other thing is I kind of am thinking of like, if you wanted to, like maybe there'd be some times when I'd want to use this as a standing desk and I think like this height would be perfect for that. But uh, it is adjustable. Uh, I just have it at the lowest setting for where I've got it right now. I don't know. Like I said, subject to change, but I think it's I think it's all right. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty handy being able to just swing this thing around wherever you want. Sit down here, eat your breakfast, eat your lunch, whatever. And then next, my next maneuver here. <laughs> so uh, next up here, uh, if you watch my gaming channel, which I'm actually rocking the... Uh, the merch right now for the gaming channel i also have merch for the main channel so if that's something you would be interested in definitely you can check that out i got hats same kind of hats as this this is the gaming uh channel logo here but uh you could also get the main channel one or yeah the gaming one if you're interested in that either way uh but anyways yes i have the gaming channel so i'm trying to figure out work out a good way of gaming on the road i do have a laptop which is good for gaming but it's not really good for recording streaming and gaming at the same time so i do have a plan for this but uh anyways what, what i was getting at here is just on the road say i want to work maybe i record a video and i need to edit and i'm on the road bam i got my setup right here i can do all kinds of work right here from the laptop but uh yeah, anyways, I can work here. Say I'm just playing a game on my own. I can game here. I could watch TV. I could watch um, shows, YouTube, whatever I want. Nice little setup here. I got my seat, and, uh, my laptop set up here at a decent height. Like I said, I think I like this height. I think it works pretty, pretty good for me. So there's that. And of course, at some point, you're going to need to charge things, especially, you know, you're running your laptop right here. You're going to want power real close. So I bought this outlet. You've got a lot of uh, regular plugs and then you've also got USBs and even uh, I think that's USB-C. So a lot of options for plugging things in, charging, uh, even just running certain things uh, right over here, right in the laptop area. So I think that'll work out pretty well. But anyways, the whole point I was getting at, let me go ahead and show you what we've got set up here. It looks a little bit like a mess and it kind of is. A lot of wires running around, but this is the whole goal, the whole thing I was trying to get set up here. My whole, uh, my whole mission here, kind of. And uh, let's let's go ahead and bring you in close. 
But like I was saying, I kind of want to be able to bring streaming on the road, my gaming channel that I stream to. And so, like I said, the laptop is probably the best option as far as like size and, you know, amount of space it takes up and the power that it has. It runs games really well. It's a gaming laptop. The only problem running games and streaming at the same time, it can have some issues. Uh, so what I figured is why not run games off of this little feller here, my Nintendo Switch because the game is running here, all the PC is running is the streaming software, as you can see here. Uh, I still got a few bugs to kind of work out, but yeah, and all of it is powered right over here. So we have that. We have the blue snowball, the one I was using way back when, and uh, I'm probably still going to use it for on the road, because like I said, it's small enough. Or when I stream out in the van, even if I'm not on the road, you know, I may do some sort of late night streams. Uh, also a second monitor, so that way I can have the game on a full screen, streaming software on another full screen, chat i can read over here uh so yeah that's basically it we have a capture card um so the only thing i'm trying to figure out is getting audio from the switch to the pc to be able to record record as well as me being able to hear it as i'm playing so i have like i have like a headphone jack it's a headphone in mic jack but it was running on my software under mic but then once I plugged in the blue snowball, the blue snowball overrode that and took the mic spot. So I'm not sure. I'll have to, there'll be some things I'll have to figure out here. But anyways, that's the setup basically. So with this whole setup all up and running, my next step is going to be internet, which I've been looking into a lot, trying to figure out what's the best. You guys can drop me some suggestions as of the time this video goes up because I haven't gotten anything yet. But I'm leaning towards Starlink because I'm thinking if I'm out on the road, in random places and I want to be able to get good internet to be able to do this stuff even just uploading videos or watching TV something like that I'm probably gonna want pretty good internet so I'm thinking Starlink's probably the best option but let me know what you guys think because uh, at the time of this I haven't gotten anything yet so opinions would be useful but uh, the next video I make will probably be if I end up going with Starlink or whatever internet I get the next video I make will probably be me getting that set up with all of this and if you are interested in seeing the streams that I'm going to do from the van, you can go ahead and check out the gaming channel. I'll have that linked. It's also right there. I don't know how well you can see that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that just about does it for this one as far as updates. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to be getting this going. It'll be really nice to be able to, like I said, do a late night stream or something on maybe a Saturday night. Uh, I got quite a few games on here on the Switch. There's, there's actually a lot more that you can play you know, than you, than you think. And also the Switch 2 will be coming out and that should be more powerful. So I can probably even run something like that in here. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I think that just about does it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That'll help me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications because you're not going to want to miss out on any of the future updates, future videos. One particular video is me shaving my beard. If you didn't notice I look a little bit different, you can check that video out. Uh, the gaming channel, that also you know, is something that came from there. They wanted it, so they made, made sure they got it. <laughs> but anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Peace.